Hello, and welcome back to episode 21 of Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And that's the first time in several episodes that I didn't realize partway through saying Sherlock Holmes that I couldn't remember what the rest of the title was. So, good job to me. Of course, I probably didn't need to announce that to you. Oh yeah, we are, uh, we're outside of the armor place. We're at the safe shop. We're outside the safe shop. And the Night Watchman, I presume, is a guy that we can see through the window. And he's still there. Good. I'm having, uh... Dishonored flashbacks. You remember the safe shop? Hello there. That you check out there? The best on the market. You can wallop them, you can burn them. Nothing will work. I bet he tested that himself. Ill-fitting pants, wonky nose, and hair that appears to have been cut by your own hand. You must be Billy Lloyd. Oh, it's you! I knew you'd come. You did? You're Mirko Gallia, the best investigative journalist on Cordona. I'm a fan of your work. Alas, you're mistaken. The name is Sherlock Holmes, and your employer... Oh, of course. Discretion. I'm sorry. Um, I doubt the policeman upstairs heard me, though, so your secret is safe with me, Sherlock. <laughs> Not very bright, either. Mr. Capello told me you were present during the burglary and scared the criminal off the property? Yeah, you should have seen it. As soon as the burglar saw me, they went white as death, ran out the back door of the office. I heard a thud and cat shrieks, so I think they went over the railing and into the bushes out back. Clearly, my reputation precedes me. Mr. Capello was so proud. Hmm, you're a guard, but you didn't give chase. But by the time I made it outside, they were miles away. So I went back to help Mrs. Capello. That kind of gentlemanly courtesy is why I'm so well regarded around these parts. Mm hmm. What did the thief look like? Shorter than me. Mid-twenties. A huge scar across the right cheek going from the eye. Short hair. She didn't look like a ghost. Too corporeal. Hold on. She? You didn't think to mention the burglar was a woman? Why did you assume it was a man? It's the 19th century, sir. Ambitious young women are out there pursuing a career. And I, for one, encourage it. Yes, yes, spare me the sermon. I'm still not at all interested in this proto-feminism. When did the burglary happen? Oh, uh, after ten in the evening. I was just talking to Mrs. Capello. Does she normally work this late? No, it's the first time it happened. But usually I'm alone at night. I was explaining to Mrs. Capello how drinking water every three hours can help with digestion. When she excused herself and went back upstairs. Then there was a scream and uh, I ran up to the office and... I know what happened next, thank you. What about last evening? Do you have any more details about the break-in? Of course. I write down everything that happens during my watch. Take a look. Fastidious in its mundanity, but I will make of it what I can. I must go and inspect the crime scene. If I have further questions, Mr. Lloyd, I will find you. Oh, don't worry. I won't be able to keep away. Right. I hope we don't have to spend too much time talking to him. What else have we got? Some some gold bars, perhaps some, uh, some syringes full of blue. Is it weird that that's both a dishonored thing and a Bioshock thing, don't you think? Oh, look at this. The very latest amenities. And well kept, too. Strength, security, peace of mind. Hmm, tacky. Well, you know, that's your opinion, good sir. Yes, and it's the only one that matters, frankly. Up to the office, I guess. What was that? Oh, uh -huh. that's a dead man. Good, good, good. Bulging veins, cyanosis, bloodshot eyes, odd foaming in the mouth. Were you poisoned, my friend? Bruises, torn nails, bleeding was severe and continued at length. He was locked in while he was still alive. I knew it. Blood on the safe door could have been left by the victim. What else have we got? Oh. Clear indications of blunt trauma, possibly inflicted before the victim was in the safe. 
Oh, uh, were you knocked out and then stuffed in the safe only to wake up? That's pretty horrible. Wait, there we go. Clothes are not fully buttoned. Was the victim dressing or undressing? What a rotten way to die. Yeah, what a shame. Oh, we got another teleporter on our hands. Excuse me, just let me... Oh, why do I get the worst jobs? A lot of fun to be had in photography. Try it out in your free time. A wine. Well enjoyed. The bottle is half empty. How do you know it was well enjoyed? Maybe it was poorly en ooh, enjoyed. Recently used, but why would it be here? Cover up, that's why. <laughs> Anything else we can have a look at? Oh, I can show him evidence, huh? Do you know anything else about the dead body in the safe? Well, there is the rule of threes. You can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, three hours in harsh weather, and three minutes... Of you talking. ...without air. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> no, no, very enlightening, Mr. Lloyd. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Yeah. I, I know of it, but... forgot. Oh, so you don't know of it, is what you mean. That's what he told us, so I don't... This is also largely his testimony. He ought not have anything to say about those things. What can you tell me about Mr. Capello? There we go. He's a good employer, but very focused on work, and very serious about security, of course, since he employed a night watch of my calibre. Not everyone appreciates his strict business approach, though. Store clerks don't seem to last long in the office. Good to know. And the lady? Have you noticed anything different about Mrs. Capello recently? Mm, not really. She talks to me more when I start my shift. Probably because of the 100 best curry recipes book I'm reading. Oh, and uh, we've been running out of paper a lot lately, so she often sends me out to buy more for her. She's very particular about the paper we use. Only one store on the island stocks it, and it's on the other side of the town. But I'm really fast. Interesting, thank you. <laughs> uh, cute. What? That's not what we're working on right now. Ooh, we can do a chemical analysis. Are we going to figure out that he's poisoned? 2 minus 6, 5. Wow, this is... This is quite complex, isn't it? Um, so if we take that and we do a switcheroo on it, um, then that'll get us all the way to the red and part of the way to the green. Uh, I could do that. Is that what I want to do? How am I going to get to... Uh... Okay, so that will get me to minus four and three. Hmm. I don't think this is going the way I want it to. This one, then that gets me to minus eight and one. <laughs> so that would get me to five, and that would get me. Yeah, so this this will do it. Can I actually sum all of these up? Also, can I use this space? Like, why is there a rectangle over here? Go ahead and spread out a little bit, I think. Do I want to do that now? I think I want to do that now. And uh, I already inverted that one. Good. And so now is it just a matter of sums? 
I don't have enough sums. I don't have enough sums. So that doesn't work. Oh, I have a times two. What does this one do? That's not what I want. Yeah, okay, so times two uh, adds one. I don't have a divide by two. Alright, um, can I... There we go. So let's think about this again with the times two on the table. I want to use this one, but the the four is in the wrong direction, and I can't do a negative on just one of them, so that's not. Oh, but what if I flip that one? This is a road I went down before, and then if I flip with this one also, so then I have a minus three and I have a a zero that doesn't that doesn't do me any good why am I doing that hmm. all right well let's just let's do this rather than trying to keep track of all that in my head let's just go ahead and sum it so now I have I have a two met and I need I need minus two green and I need plus two blue to get where I need to get. And I can't I can't add just two blue without screwing something else up, so that's really the big problem that I'm facing. And I'm still not trying to use the times two. all that up. I had already used all that up. Do I have... I don't have any ones of the blue either, do I? No, I don't. So if I want the... I want the blues to work. Then I can't be doing it that way. Okay. Uh, I've flailed on this long enough, so we'll do a little pause, and I'll be back when I've worked it out. Okay, so, uh, that one turned out to be way simpler than I expected it to, but there we, oh, there we go. Foaming around the mouth is the result of light intoxication, most likely from wine. Hmm. Okay, well that's not what I was expecting. I'm gonna catch the criminal myself, but later. Ah, uh, good. Oh, why do I get the worst jobs? So do I? Do I? Why do I not have Mind Palace? So maybe if we pin this, we can go out to the back door and oh, there's more stuff. Okay, put that away for now. Anything interesting? Yes. Keys. Signor Capello, it has come to my attention that Niccolo Detti is soon to return to Cordona. We do not know what that means for the future of the Detti family, but Orazio seems to be set, seems set on staying in Roma, so take that as you will. I wanted to strongly advise on behalf of the whole family that you avoid contact with Niccolo. We have no doubt that you will be able to retain your composure even if provoked, but we do not know what the Dettys are planning. Be on your guard. The family reputation is at stake. Uh, in Boca al Lupo. I believe that's of the wolf, 
Is that in the wolf's voice or something? Hmm. This diary shows Basilio Capello's schedule planned weeks ahead. There are several noteworthy recent entries. First, a meeting with a detective from several weeks ago, and second, two dates labeled with the safe. Yesterday and today. He clearly needs a better work-life balance. Don't we all? Nicola Detti, a young heir to the Detti family business, has returned to Cardona after 12 years of studying and working on the mainland. This coincides with Orazio Detti's departure to Italy and hints at the possibility that Nicola is attending, intending to take over the family business in Cordona. We will be watching this situation closely as it develops and will endeavor to obtain a reaction from Basilio Capello. The Capello and Detti feud has been existent for over 200 years, and, is, and even though this acrimony has been muted for the past few decades, some still remember the conflicts of Gonzalo Detti and Vitalo, Vitalio Capello era. We are hoping that Nicolo's young mind and Basilio's calm business attitude may find common ground. Well-organized workplace. Mr. Capello is the best. Okay, this chap is seriously creepy. You're one to talk, John. And what's this? Balcony? Must be a balcony. Balcony-ish? How about that one? Is that a good one to pin? You nag. Yes. That's what we want. Railing dislodged and bent. Acrobatic. Lock picks. The letter F is inscribed within a four leaf clover pattern. F for thief. Place Muraille. Walk through walls in French. Our thief seems rather arrogant. Mm, is that it? Is that all we got? No. Nope. Comprehensive set of lock picks, recently cleaned with no fresh scratches. Key evidence collected. So what else have we got? I imagine they got away without leaving any further traces. But you never know. Do I seriously not get... Why do I not get a, a palace for this, hmm? I'm not sure what the book icon means. Does that mean that I need to go in archives? Maybe I can present this to uh, my shadow. Who isn't here? Thanks, buddy. Oh, why do I get the worst jobs? You are a popo, and that's life as a popo. Oh, um, actually, no. Do you know whose keys these are? Probably Mr. Capello's. Police took him so suddenly. I have the same set, but it's more efficient. Has fewer keys. So you don't have access to the entire office? No. Only Mr. and Mrs. Capello have the key to the back door. The back door that I just learned the thief went out through? Do you know anything about these entries? No. But Mr. Capello is so well organized. I use a different method. Very popular among the Buddhist monks. You create an attic in your mind and... I'm familiar. Keep it tidy, put only necessary information in, remove unnecessary information regularly. What? No, it's called an attic. You just stuff it with everything. You never know what might prove helpful someday. That is profoundly upsetting. It's all nonsense anyway. So he didn't have anything else to say about stuffs. Probably done with that for now. We already checked out the turret. Back to the police station, mayhap. Talk to the folk. Yeah, I think we have some things to talk to the Capellos about. And maybe, maybe I can do a little bit of archive searching.
See if there are any cat burglars I can look up, for example. All right, now, where's the damn police station? Is that it? That's totally it. Good job, me. I'm starting to learn my way around. This way. So we'll start with uh, an interview or two, and then the archives last. That way, when the episode runs out, I can finish that ch part between episodes. I'm really getting the hang of this planning thing. Hey, lady. I don't know. You don't know about the keys to your husband's establishment? I don't know. Well, what do you know? Can we please do this later? No. No, no, no. I don't know. Ugh. I'm just so exhausted, sir. What you are is just so useless. But I, st I can still show you more stuff. Can Screw it. Please do this I'm just going to show you everything. Mrs. Capello, would you think your husband capable of that which he is accused? No. Basilio is a good man, a devoted man. I love him. He cares about his work and cares about me. He approaches all his passions with diligence and uh, temerity. I think there is nothing he could not achieve if he set his mind to it. Indeed, in all our years together, I cannot recall a single business opportunity Basilio failed to see through. Thank you, Mrs. Capello. All right, so that was what we were missing. And now the accused. Oh, what a long day. This guy thinks he's having a long day. I don't think Sherlock has had one sleep since we started. Now, how about the key? Another question? Come on. Not much to say. I'm sorry. I'm interested in some entries in your diary that may prove important. Could you elaborate on these ones here? Bene. I won't name the detective, but the rest assured that is unrelated to the investigation. It is just one of our clients. And those safe entries are about an interested party who was going to purchase the product. We met yesterday, and today we're to finalize the transaction. Alas, that opportunity is no more. You've been a good help. Not much to say. I'm sorry. Really? Another question? Oh, you people. How long have you known your wife, Mr. Capello? How is that relevant, young man? Please, I need a complete picture of all the parties involved. Consider, perhaps, the possibility that the burglar was targeting your wife. It seems unlikely. Although, if a detti was out to threaten my wife... <sighs> we met seven years ago. Augusta was a harpist with an Italian orchestra. The passion in her eyes back then. I am glad she still has some of it now. And you and your wife get along well? I love her most dearly, and I know Augusta loves me. I fear someday she may be bored at work, but I try to give her all she wants. Well, that wasn't super helpful, was it? And I... Why? Why don't I have a damn mind palace for this? Yeah, it's archives time. So we're looking for a female cat burglar. Maybe, I ideally, with an F. Oh, that's the wrong turn. For an initial. Possibly from uh, Ireland, I think. Didn't really look it though, did it? Did she? Mm, suspects, instruments of crime. How about we pin the right evidence, huh? I have no idea what kind of... There it is. Felicia Savine, age 26, currently affiliated with the Backstreet Boys gang, acting as their master burglar. The Backstreet Boys have a hideout on Clay Street in Central Miner's End. Okay. Uh, maybe it would be wise to take a look around outside before we enter. Just a thought. I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? So we're looking for a Miner's End, right? I'm going to 
gonna have to get in a fight with those dudes. Damn it. Clay Street, Central Miner's End. Miner's End is... Yeah. Okay. Clay Street. Sinking Street. I hadn't noticed that one before, I don't think. So there's Clay. What else was there? Just on Clay Street in Central Miner's End. So I guess we're going there-ish. I don't even know if that was the right marker and I don't really care. Off we go. Hello. Do you suppose the street is actually sinking or is it just a little too chthonic? Good heavens. You heard how the priest was butchered. What happened to the priest? He was butchered. I heard that. Yeah, John, I don't know if you've noticed, but it isn't actually the listening part that's the problem. It's this stupid filtering game. So one of the things that I'm rejecting, there it is. Finally, okay. A priest got murdered, with, his, and he had his hand severed. The only item of note that the police were able to find was a saw lying next to the body. Caleb worried the culprit will escape unpunished. Well, he well might. Saints and Sinners. That's a good VR game. I should play some more of that. I'm not going to record it, though. I'm not set up for that. So, yeah, the hideout probably nearby. Is it down by the river? Hmm, doesn't look very down by the river, he does it. But maybe over this way. Hmm. I think the people down here are focused on uh, the work that's nearby. So what do you what do you suppose a hideout might look like? What's going on over here? Hello, sir. Are you hiding out? No. We're not on Clay Street anymore any dang way. Oop. Well, I think I've pretty much walked the length of Clay Street at this point. Is that just another way down to the river folk? Yes, it is. So is that really all we've got? The Backstreet Boys hide out on Clay Street in Central Miner's End. So are they are they literally hanging out in a backyard perhaps? I'm not I wasn't even on actual Clay Street. Is that right? That's not right. Is this it? This is it. Oh no, so I was. Yeah, okay. I just took a few too many corners there toward the end. No entry, private property. Some kind of fucked up electrical lamp. I, I think that's probably where they're hanging out. I don't know how 
how to figure it out. I mean, I don't know how to get Sherlock to figure it out. Maybe I could just loop around here a little bit, see if I can find my way in. Old warehouse quarter, cool. If Sherlock was a little more agile, that would look like a way in, but he's not. Too busy playing dress up for any of that mess. All right. I don't know. But in any case, we are all out of time for episode 21. Come back and see me again in episode 22, and I will have figured this out, and we will be having a chat with them Backstreet Boys. Long before the start of their reunion world tour. Talk to you soon.